if you don't go into lockdown, the economy still goes as bad, but you got more dead people. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Jaden Strady, now with Damien Lee on Wave FM 96.5. There's a lot of people that aren't quite sure about uh, about COVID and, and where it starts and where it begins. So that's why we've got Dr. Carl on the mission this morning. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you very much. Dr. Carl, I reckon for a lot of people, we, we've had COVID now for about a year and a half or thereabouts, uh, and a lot of the public are hearing about different strains and mutations and, and now a Delta strain that's more vicious than the previous strain. How does it all work? I mean, what, why is this new strain uh, more contagious than the previous one? Um, nothing personal. It just wants to survive. Like they say in the mafia, nothing personal, just business. And so if it can infect more people faster, that will increase the number of virus particles. And that's what is going through. They all evolve. So we've been through different mutations. There's been the original Wuhan version. And then we've gone through alpha, beta, delta, and gamma. And I'm hoping we don't get up to omega because that, that's the end of the Greek alphabet. So the Delta one seems to be more infectious. It is definitely more infectious. So at this stage, it doesn't seem to be nastier, but it does seem to be a lot better at infecting people. And the um, way around that, of course, is we just simply get vaccinated. Now, here's something really weird for you. Um, a friend of mine went to Antarctica and then came back and somewhere between Antarctica and Sydney Airport, this is about a year and a half ago, got infected. Yeah. In fact, his whole family, he, his wife, they went together and the two kids got infected. And because they were medical and there was a whole study going on, they got tested. And here's the weird thing. Even though they had all been definitely 100% infected with the virus, yeah. their antibodies had gone practically to zero. You actually get oh. better antibodies from the vaccine than you do from getting infected. So what you're saying in a nutshell is get vaccinated, you'll be healthier than you uh, were before if you get COVID. Yeah. Now, the thing about the vaccine is that it does not create a magic bubble in space around you that protects you. Yeah, there's some sort of invisible oh. force field. So with regard to the vaccines, they can uh, protect you at four stages, getting infected or mild disease or a strong disease or death. With the vaccines we've got available in Australia, they're all equally good at stopping you from dying. But in the earlier stages, they vary from one to the other in how good they are at stopping you from infect getting infected or having mild disease or having serious disease. But in terms of stopping you from dying, they're all pretty close to 100%. We're in areas of the Illawarra that are in lockdown. And when do you expect that these lockdowns are going to... Uh to close, or do you think that these lockdowns will actually continue? Uh, it all depends on how good we are at getting the vaccine out. So there are um, advertisements going around now saying, get vaccinated, and people are saying, I want to get vaccinated, I just can't get make an appointment, there is no yeah. vaccine for me, which is kind of pointless saying, get vaccinated when there are no vaccine, when there's, there's low numbers. So even Mongolia is over 50%, give me a break, come yeah. on. Yeah. Right? What's so, going on? Uh, we, we, we've gone down an unfortunate pathway and now we've just got to make it better. So um, how long for the lockdown? Um, you're looking at at least a week after the numbers drop to very low levels. So I'm kind of thinking two to four weeks for New South Wales-ish, maybe four to six weeks. It all depends on the individual people. If people keep on having these spreading events – then it just yeah. gets missier. Four to six weeks, Carl. That's all I heard. Four to six weeks. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I heard as no. well. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe two if the numbers come down. So I'm basically yeah. just staying at home and hardly anybody's going out except for really emergency sort of stuff and having to go to work in the hospital and that sort of stuff. And that's exactly yeah. what uh, the message is to everybody, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is that if you look at the uh, we've had some economists look at studies around the world, if you don't go into lockdown, the economy still goes as bad but you got more dead people. Oh, wow. Right. So that's right. something to remember, guys, when you are in lockdown for six weeks is that, you know, at least you, you're still alive and you and your family are staying safe, which is, you know, what it's all about because we need to stay at home, get these numbers down, get yeah. vaccinated, yep. and then hopefully we can get rid of this insidious uh, pandemic that oh. we're all living in. Oh, Dr. Like Carl, you are the font of knowledge and information, mate. We really do appreciate uh, <laughs> your time with us. And I know that many people in the Elora would, would love all of the, uh, the info that you've given us, mate. So thanks so much for your time. Thank you.